Good day, good day, and welcome back to Let's Homestead Instead. On today's video, we are getting some goat quarters ready because guess what? We're getting the goats next week. know if I mentioned this to you guys that uh, we were getting new goats and what this project was all about actually this year we're getting registered goats um, I needed to create a different kind of income for the homestead and um, although we were trying to just be as self-sufficient as possible trying to uh, raise good livestock not necessarily um, the best for like showing purposes or anything but in this case uh it was actually scott's idea uh last year over a year ago where he said i think we should just um go with the registered livestock or registered goats actually because uh they're just they sell better for a better price here in canada uh, goats are already expensive here in canada like if i watch videos on um, other homesteaders or people that are raising goats in the states or that's not around here they um, they're going for pretty cheap you know and um, over here a, an unregistered goat is a couple hundred to like four hundred dollars easy uh, for good goats so even bucks um, so you would be surprised on how um, registered goats are you know they're a pretty penny but they're also very good quality and I believe I have found or I've I have the privilege of having a good friend who has a a very good goat operation with Nubians and uh, I will refer to her as the goat whisperer um, I'm shadowing her right now uh, in my learning process and although she's a very, very, very busy person, she's a wonderful goat keeper and um, has a very nice line of goats and um, pretty good operation, like I said, going on. So uh, thank you, my friend. And uh, what we're getting is we're getting two does and two bucklings. They're just, uh, I'm going to say, roughly six weeks old right now. So we are going to be bottle feeding morning and night. So Lily and I are going to be super, super busy. And, um, so anyways, let's go see what Scott's doing and, uh, find out how he's doing with the goat stall. So this is what we got going on for today. Now I'm going to turn this outside chicken run into a shelter for some goats. And we'll see what, uh, by the end of the day, what the project is like. So, but for now, I'm not going to take off the chair, the uh, wire cloth on the ex exterior. I'm just going to sheath the inside for now. And once everything thaws because it's under ice and snow, I'll remove the uh, wire cloth and uh, save it for uh, something else uh, later on down the road. But for now, I'm going to leave it on and I'm just going to sheath the inside. Plus make a floor, floor joists, and all that good stuff. And make a new entrance. Maybe I'll go right through the uh, wall for the chicken coop and uh, incorporate that in the whole uh, in the whole building or structure itself. Alright. Okay, so I've acquired a helper and we're about to put the sill in so we can put the floor joists in. And uh, little Lily is uh, doing an awesome job at uh, drilling, uh, screwing in screws. So uh, we'll continue with that. And uh, we'll, uh, as soon as I get the floor joists in, I'll give you an update. Okay, so this is where we have it. Uh, we got the floor joists in. Now we're going to put some sheathing down on the floor. And then after we got that all on the floor, then we're going to do the walls. All right? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so little Lily is uh, about to finish up the subflooring for our little project, and we're coming along just nicely. Very nice. We're all good. We're all level. Now we're uh, going to put in uh, the sheathing. Uh, sheathing. Guess what? We're finished. 
Well, we'll finish this up, Laura, but we got to put in the, on the sheathing. But yeah. well, we got to do a little bit of backing uh, for the sheathing there because uh, the lengths and the way the wire cloth was, uh, there weren't the same as standard four by eight sheets or anything like that. So the studs are placed a little bit differently. So I bought some extra two by four studs to throw in and the areas where it's gonna need uh, the studs for backing. All right. Let's get that stuff in there and uh... okay so this is where we're at now the after putting the sheathing on the floor uh, put the sheathing on the walls and made a little door for the entrance added a couple windows one there and one there this I got to take down really it's uh it's no more good it's rotten the roof runs right on it and it's just finished but anyhow so this is uh, what it is so here we go inside plenty of light with the windows so that's all the way up to the ceiling eventually I am going to insulate it and we were going to eat it so it'll all be part of the same structure as the chicken coop so this uh, I'll open up a hole in the wall somewhere here but that'll be this summer's project there, so we gotta wait till the ground unthaws there to get the wire out of the ground. But anyway, that's a little bit of cleanup I gotta do, uh, but we're almost good to go. Okay, so this is what it looks like from the outside. Now, I put a couple old little crates in there for food or feed or hay we got the milking stanchion do these things for hay for feed no I, I threw the heater in here just to, to, to warm it up a little bit but can't see the breath and uh, it's warm enough so you know what I think a couple of animals in here it'll warm it up just fine especially with a whole bunch of uh, hay and uh, shavings on the floor well it'll insulate it that much better so well that's it that's my build for the day not too bad on this beautiful winter day well it's technically it's getting close to spring but hey so so tonight and I say tonight because it's seven o'clock and we just finished supper we're going out to the coop slash barn edition where we're gonna go and make sure everything's ready for our new little herd of goats tomorrow so hopefully the other video was already uploaded in regards to the goats because that's uploading tonight because it failed last night it failed last week so it's like a week late because our internet just went bonkers we had to change our modem and everything and have a few uh, conversations with Bell Canada so we're going out there I'm going to show you what we're doing in the uh, the new little coop slash barn little edition it's snowing out here it's pretty bad actually it's uh winter wonderland right now but i can hear some singing over there oh king's dinner so we uh for now still have electricity that we're blessed with hi hi How's it going in there? Oh, it's getting I divided. I can do pull-ups. You can do pull-ups. Yeah, you, pull you want to see? Sure. Show me your pull-ups. Ooh. Stacy from Doug and Stacy would be very proud of you. <laughs> Not from Doug and Stacy, but from off-grid with Doug and Stacy. Yeah. So, all right. Things have been, oh, I shouldn't have put all that hay down, eh? So that's going to be the divider there. Mm -hmm.
So, I'm just putting in the accessories for the goats. These are little mini tops. I actually got them at the dollar stores. I hope they're gonna hold up. But they're not. Uh, they're not to be like. Can't put liquids in there or anything because they're just a normal. How would you call it? Metal. Metal little metal tub. All right. So what I'm doing now is I'm washing the uh, trough that we used to the uh, the water for the pigs. And I'm going to be giving it to the goats. Now it's in my bathtub. A lot of people would say that's just gross, but where else am I going to wash this when there's like still two feet of snow outside and everything's frozen? And what I'm using to wash it is my concoction of the uh, baking soda, no poo shampoo, and the apple cider vinegar with the uh, thyme essential oil, lavender, and Davana oil for that kind of a, like um, a rinse for your hair. I put both of them in there. I'm washing it with it. It's natural. It'll clean it. And I'm just using a scrubby like this. And that should do it. And then yes, of course, I'm going to wash my tub, guys. Don't worry about it, but that's all part of farming. Okay, so final video of the goat stall build. Uh, this is what it is. We got uh, feeders, waterers, a heat lamp on the other side we have the milking stanchion water pail hay bedding awesome done so that's it so we got ourselves a goat pen and maybe in the future i will put a hole in the wall uh, joining the uh, existing coop with the new goat pen. I probably may modify more stuff and everything's a work in progress. All right, so take care. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care till next time.